The equipment you will need to perform reproducible jointing of Volcathene end fusion includes a pipe cutter, a scraper, clamps, link cables for multiple jointing, an end fusion control unit, a new handheld unit is also available, and gloves. It's important to make sure the pipe is cut clean and square. A wheel cutter is best for this job. However, as an alternative, a carpeted saw could be used, but this would create swarf. A saw is often used on larger diameter pipes. After cutting the pipe, scrape the end of the pipe equivalent to one and a half times the depth of the socket. making sure that all the swarf produced is removed. Insert the pipe all the way to the stop at the bottom of the socket and mark on the pipe with a pencil. Loosely fit the appropriate size clamp over the hub of the socket and position flush with the socket opening. It is important to tighten the clamp around the hub of the socket so to achieve a homogeneous joint. Turn the end fusion control unit on. It will follow a self-test procedure and inform the user to connect output leads. Connect both output leads to the fitting. Follow the instructions on the display to select pipe size. Using the select button choose the size of pipe you are joining. When the correct pipe size is displayed press the start button and the end fusion control unit will display the temperature and the welding time. The welding time is dependent on the ambient temperature. The end fusion unit will reduce the welding time when the temperature is above the normal temperature range and will increase the welding time when it is below. When completed the end fusion control unit will emit an audible alarm and display the message disconnect output lead. After a 30 second waiting time, so as to allow the joint to cool, gently disconnect the leads. Now leave the joint undisturbed for at least 5 minutes before removing the clamp. It is possible to perform multiple joints at the same time using link leads, where the circuit is completed through the joints and back to the end fusion control unit. For all of your information regarding maximum number of joints, consult your Volcathene technical information.